And this is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class RC. Uh, she is part of Wave 5 of the Deluxe Class figures. Uh, she comes together in the wave with uh, Stalker Scorpnock, repaint of, G of Movie 1 Scorpnock, and Swerve, a redeco of Sideswipe. Um, now she is part of a trio uh, of, of Fembots, uh, an assault squad of Fembots that, form, that transform into superbikes. Uh, Moonracer Chromia and uh, RC right here. Here's Chromia. Uh, they make two thirds of the team. We haven't seen Moonracer yet. Now she is the leader of the team, and um, amazingly, uh, I like her more than Chromia. Now we've seen a lot of reviews. Uh, we've seen some reviews of this figure pre-released, saying that oh she's crappy, she sucks. I mean, but she doesn't. She's great. The the paint is a little bit pale. I mean. A little bit light. It's like bordering on pink. It's like neon red pink with some silver glittery highlights here and there, which is amazing if you ask me. Black and pink, they go well together. Uh, you can't, if you accept this kind of mistransformation of her, you can't stand her without her stand. She comes with a stand that doubles as a sidecar uh, in alt mode and as a gun. You can mount it here on this peg. And it will form her ginormous gun. Uh, if you transform this one properly, it should be like this. You can mount it on the underside, but it will look stupid. Okay, so I like to keep it out. It's an amazing figure. You can get her in this in some decent positions. Um, let me just transform her properly. Her feet. It, it, they don't stick together. They just stay there. And then you have to find the right spot to attach it so that it there's enough friction and it will stay in place now we've seen in some reviews that oh complaining about her spine it won't allow her to stand in a straight line but you know they, you cannot see that's a problem with pre-release figures they're probably incomplete not perfect yet but if you get the final version she will be able to stand in a straight line uh, from the feet to the head you just have to fix the spine and part of the reason is she has an amazingly flexible spine the spine has joints here here can even rotate 360 here ball joint here so you can get her into a lot of decent positions like she's like skidding she's moving from side to side chasing the autobots she can go in different directions she can look in different directions it's just a very very poseable spine which i'm i'm, a, I'm very very happy with kudos to the engineering team other articulations she's got ball joints everywhere that are so loose easily pops off in transformation and in posing but when you attach them they're pretty tight head is on a ball joint with a mecha live gimmick of gears gears moving on her chest big deal but it's okay I'd rather have automorph than than uh, mecha live but that's what you get for Revenge of the Fallen okay 90-95% fantastic this figure bot mode only gripe about this figure is this I mean, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing gimmick, but just look what happened. For yeah, I opened this figure, transform him, I try and I, I was so amazed, oh cool, it snaps out. I, I do it four times and the spring fails. It just, it's the worst, poorest quality spring ever. I tried opening up the, I tried removing the screws, trying to open it up. I could not open up this this whole assembly because it's been glued shut somewhere here, or you have to pull out the pins here and there. It's a whole manufacturing thing about it that, that you cannot dismantle it with ordinary tools. And so I'm stuck with this with the with the malfunctioning spring. So word of advice: if you're going to buy this figure, be gentle with the spring-loaded blade because. I, I've tried looking at the spring and it is made of the thinnest wire ever on earth and it, it will break if you abuse it so I, I mean four times I just cocked it and fired it four times I don't think that's abuse but it, it failed and I don't know I'm tempted to get another RC but you know just for that if I'm gonna break it again it, it's pointless so be very careful with the, with the blade so very nice very nice uh, uh, robot mode I really like it get you can get a lot of articulation she has this appendage which allows you to attach her to chromia but it looks like a weird attachment of some sort you will have to do a lot of 
posing for Chromia and RC. Maybe we'll get a better look at if we can attach Moon Racer here. But uh, until then, it looks like a a, a three-way back-to-back battle mode. Okay, let's get rid of Chromia for now. RC, very nice. Let's get her into her Ducati 848 eight eight four eight alt mode. Remove the stand. Now the the best way to transform her, she, it looks very difficult at first because she's in all this asymmetric uh, 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 contortion. Uh, but if, the the trick is to get everything in the correct alignment first. Uh, uh, how she would look like in super bite mode. So just just align everything first, uh, like so. Hold in the head. Okay. Just get everything into alignment. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Okay. I mean, even with a defective blade, the tran you can still transform her. You just have to adjust the bl the blade so it doesn't hit anything. Okay. Okay, we're halfway done. Uh, fold in okay, the side of, of the motorbike. Okay. And there is RC in her uh, Ducati 848 alt mode. She has a kickstand which will allow you to stand her. She's got tattoos here and here. Um, it's a very rosy pink, magenta-like, neon red <laughs> type of paint. I, it's more pink to me uh, than neon or neon pink. You got headlights here, windshield, Autobot symbol right there. Uh, amazing, amazing detail on the bike. I mean, there's a lot of gaps here, and you can see the engine here. But forgivable, you know, this is the 848 Ducati. Very agile, very powerful and lightweight. 134 horsepower uh, uh, engine, and it, it, it's just very fast. And the, the website on it says it is agile and refined. And I think this is one of the best Ducati bikes out there. And one of the fastest. Very efficient. Okay, and of course, you know, she's the leader, right? She has to get the best mode. Now, uh, the sidecar fits here. Um, wait, let me just stand there. I mean, we've seen reviews in the past of this as a pre-release complaining about, oh, the sidecar is stupid, you, it just doesn't fit, it's so loose. But see, that's the prototype. That's the pre-release figure. That's the problem with pre-release figure. So, uh, the final figure has a very tight sidecar and it, it acts like a stand it's fine you can probably mount a legends class figure right here so it's great i like it um also if you don't want the the sidecar on this uh, on attached to rc that way you can cover the the whole gaping engine right here by attaching the the sidecar here and they will form guns sort of like a battle mode uh, it's not perfect, but you know you can cover that up. Battle mode, another another mode, or another way of attaching the sidecar makes her leaner. See, not that she's not too wide, which is also amazing. Or you can just do away with it, kick out the, the kickstand and stand her freely. Very nice, um, interesting. Um, I, I still sort of like Chromius alt mode more than this because of all the gaps we find on, on, on RC. But all in all, it's a wonderful figure. I can imagine why people want her so much. And the popularity of the character combined with the amazing figure is a good combination. If you can still see her on retail, I say go get her. But if you're going to look for her in a hobby shop, do not pay more than $14 for her. So there you have it. Revenge of the Fallen RC. Thanks for watching.